What is going on guys? I am Mortal D and welcome back to the center map. Now guys, this is going to be the season finale. I haven't got anything major planned. I'm going to talk to you for a tiny bit, let you know what's going on with Ark and then finally I am going to show you my finished castle build, the first build I ever did on this center map. I have managed to finish it eventually if you guys have been around from the start, you know I had some problems with my computer. I did record some of the building episodes, but then I lost them. I managed to get them back. I tried to um, render them and everything, but the files got corrupt, so I couldn't upload them for you guys. So you guys have missed, a, missed out on a bit of the building. I'm very sorry for that, but I have finished it. I am going to show you the finished product in this episode today. <laughs> but let's get to it. Now, I really like the center map, and I'm glad this. I'm glad I um, I first built my castle build. I'm glad it's, you can't really. It's not really rendered in, but <laughs> I'm glad I built it on here. It's been absolutely amazing. But this is going to be the thirtieth episode, so it's going to be the season finale because Primitive Plus has come out, and I have started one up. Uh, I started up the Primitive Plus on the center. Um, so that is where I'll be doing most of my other stuff. So I'll probably will set up a season called Center Plus on that one. So don't worry, there will be some more stuff and things. But, like I said, I want to talk to you about a couple of things. Right. <laughs> on Primitive Plus, I know it is buggy. Some of the building stuff doesn't work out just right. But hopefully in the future, they'll get it all sorted and so on and so forth. And... With the cave, for some reason, there isn't any artifacts on the Center Plus servers, um, which is sort of strange and weird, but hopefully, again, in the future, they'll make that a thing. I don't know if they planned for that to be a thing or not, or they just forgot about it. I don't have a clue. But we have got some really exciting news in October, guys. Really, really exciting. The Halloween... <coughs> the Halloween, like... Um, I don't know what you call it event Halloween event is coming to Xbox so the PC had it last year and the Xbox didn't um, but we are finally getting it so that means a Dodo Rex and uh, everything else that comes with it <laughs> it's like pumpkins uh, there's gonna be an absolute ton of stuff I can't wait for that event to come out and show you guys how amazing that is going to be. You're going to be walking around and you're going to be seeing dinosaurs, skeletons, just walking around. It's going to be absolutely amazing. There's going to be different kind of drops coming down. Oh, it, if you've ever seen the PC uh, Halloween event, it looks amazing and apparently in the new one they've added some new stuff. Now I don't know what this new stuff is going to be there are rumors around but I'm not going to say the rumors just in case they are wrong and I don't want to get you guys too hyped just in case it is wrong but I'm so happy that they brought the Halloween event to Xbox because that because that overall could possibly mean that they will bring the Christmas event to Xbox as well which would be absolutely cool and amazing um, because they've never never brought any events over to Xbox and this Halloween event could be like the big thing for us after that because I know I'm pretty sure that the PC ones I'm pretty sure I don't know how many events they had I'm pretty sure they had an Easter one they had a Halloween one I'm pretty sure they had a Thanksgiving one and a Christmas one so if we we start getting all them events it'll be so awesome and I'll be so thankful that they brought it into the game because it mixes it up a bit that's what I think I think it mixes up quite a lot gives a, oh, look, I've got all these eggs guys and I don't I don't even want to collect them anymore <laughs> but um, yeah it mixes the game up with all these different events and it's really cool because I know art can get boring art can get boring after a while because you're doing the same stuff over and over again but these events bring a mix into the gameplay new stuff to explore and so on and so forth so I'm glad they bring in that in so that is a little bit of an update for you guys to look forward to um, 
I don't know when they're bringing it out. I think the rough date is uh, the 25th of October, I think. And I'm pretty sure it like lasts a week. I'm not too sure. I don't know how they're going to do it on Xbox. <coughs> on PC, I'm pretty sure they did it like that. But, yeah, I'm really excited for that. Really, really excited. Why is my Tranodon over here? Hang on a minute. Where is that? Okay, I do even know that guy was over here. So that's where he was, <laughs> hiding out. But yeah, guys, I want to thank you for all your support on the Center Series. It's been absolutely amazing. When I first started it up, I thought, yeah, it'd just be a laugh. Uh, get some big building projects going. And I know a lot of people prefer the building side of Ark than the taming side of Ark. Um, but taming and building come in hand in hand in Ark. Unfortunately, just the way it works, there's come, some creatures do help you out in the building side of Ark because they gather certain materials in massive amounts. Um, so, yeah. But on the Primitive Plus server, I don't know if I'll show you a lot of the um, taming side because um, it's, just, it's just the same uh, creatures over and over again. But probably in the... Um, in the Halloween update, when you've got these skeleton costumes on some of the dinosaurs and stuff, I'll definitely bring you guys along with that. I'll definitely whack out as many episodes as I can during that uh, period when the event is out to show you all the amazing stuff uh, that is going on. If we've got time, um, I'll definitely try and do that because it, it should be absolutely uh, amazing. I keep saying that, but... <laughs> It's just a big step forward for Xbox. But like I was saying, I really want to thank you guys for all your massive support on the Center Series. Um, and uh, I, I really appreciate it, guys. It's pushed my channel forward to, uh, well, to somewhere I'd never think I'd get to, to be fair. And all I can hope and pray for is that this channel keeps going forward and keeps uh, doing bigger and better stuff. Um, and it's all thanks to you guys. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys ever so much. I hope you, I hope you continue to support the channel. I know I do some things wrong. Uh, I know my videos aren't the best. I know some of the editing I could probably do better on. I know some of my, um, I don't know what you, nervous ticks as someone put it in a comment. Um, I I do try and clear my throat a lot. I don't know what that is. I do try and cut it down. I don't know what that is. Clear my throat. It's just uh, some guy said it was a nervous uh, tick, uh, and if it is, I am really sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so that's enough of me talking. I, you guys probably get enough of me talking. You want to see some action, and this episode isn't going to be long. It's going to be reasonably short. But now I whoa. I am going to take you over to the castle build, which I have finally finished. Now, guys, don't expect a great big deal. There are a couple of other things I could add to make it look spectacular. Um, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Uh, because I'm done. Is I'm, I'm just done. I've spent so much time building it. And you can see that. You can see it. See a couple of glows going on. Um... I spent a lot of time building this and I've got to a point where I'm happy with it. I'm happy with what I class as the finish of it. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to show you guys and I hope you guys are impressed. Especially you guys who have been sticking around from the start. Um, you guys seem to really like this build and I'm so glad you did. But let's go over this massive bridge. Now I hope guys, because I know the PC is getting an update on the 10th of October that they're adding bridges in, proper bridge, dynamic bridges or something, Dyna I'm pretty sure it's dynamic length bridges, so I'm hoping that means that you, you can actually set the length of the bridge, so you could put like one point this side, then maybe like drag it all the way across, and it would like automatically, not build it, but maybe get a blueprint for it or something, or, or something along them lines, I'm not sure how it's going to work. Because making these bridges by hands can be a pain in the butt. And it especially means good things for the um, biome update to the centre map. Trying to build bridges between platforms, it, it, it can get really messy. And sometimes it doesn't work out as right. But hopefully, um, yeah, then bridges will be an absolute saviour. 
spot. Let's get to it. Here it is, guys. Now, you guys probably just saw the out inside of this when I built it, but I have built an outside wall. As you can see, it goes all the way around. Now, I did have some problems on the back end because it slopes down quite a bit here. And normal foundations on the inside, like here, won't won't go across. As you can see here, I've got a wall, and there is a tiny gap there. But I, I put some foundations up on the outside to block most of the gaps, so you can't see in. Uh, but yeah, I managed to finish it. The outside wall. Then this took a lot of walls and a lot of windows, a lot of rails. Oh yeah, another thing I want to add. I didn't even know they've added collision to these pipes. That's strange, because usually you just walk through them, but now you can't walk through them. Weird. But anyway, yeah, this is the huge outer wall. First line of defense. Looks cool. Definitely looks cool. But, right. Now we have got the entrance. And as you can see, I've made... I don't know what I don't know what I was thinking when I made this. I just made it. It's some kind of a walkway. But as you can see, it goes up in like little steps. And I really like that. I really like how it goes up in like little steps instead of just flat. I did try and get the steps to come all the way down here. But uh, the foundations just wouldn't work right. Because there is a little trick that you can do this just to make them go a little step. Um but you can't make them to go big ones, which is unfortunate. They've never added like proper stairs in or anything, um, but hopefully in the future they may do. But yeah, little steps as you walk in, and you got this big entrance way that can fit a Bronto through. I made sure that was a thing. Uh, but yeah, you got these torches. Now I could have gone with flame torches; it probably would have fitted the castle build better. But I like these blue ones when you put angler gel in um, these wall torches. I I've re I like the light better because it's kind of bluish and it flickers and blue is my favorite color if you didn't know uh, so yeah that's why I did it yeah but this can definitely fit a Bronto through because I have got a Bronto back there and it managed to fit through um, the gate the uh, entranceway which is oh pretty cool and as you can see I've managed to do all the inside of this wall all the way round so you've got walkways all the way round you can actually get up here. Let's go up here. Look, I've even put little things here so people can look out. See, I always imagine this as if you've got like either a big tribe, like a really big tribe, and you've got lots of people. Um, all these would be like cover points that you could look out if you're getting invaded. You've got all these things to look out of. Um, so you could fire. Then you could take cover behind a wall and you need to. But yeah. It worked out really good. I really like it. But I did. I think I did three levels bottom level, a mere dumbbell, and top. So let's go up to the middle. It's just ladders. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's basically just the same thing on every level. Yeah. I don't know. I reckon it looks pretty cool and it serves the purpose that I was going for. Uh, so let's go up to the top now. Like I said, guys, this took an absolute ages to build, ages to get it right. And just look at it, it looks awesome. Absolutely awesome. I don't know what else to say, it just it suits my needs perfectly. Like I said, you can go all the way around on it. Now, if I wanted to, I could probably put some kind of like catapult or something in here. I probably have got enough space. But I'd probably have to mount it a bit higher because it wouldn't see over the edges. Um, that's probably why I didn't put them in. But you could definitely, if you're trying to copy this build, you could definitely do that. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> and here as well. So yeah, you could definitely put the catapults in, or ballista turrets, or something like along them lines, if you really wanted to. But you'd have to build it up, build a little platform where it could go on, so it could go down the sides and so on and so forth. 
Um, but no, I'm happy with the way it turned out. Really happy. Looks cool. Let's jump off. Wee dong. But now the inside I have finished. I have made it into like a hall where you s where you would see like um, knights gather at a table and a king at the head and a queen and so on and so forth. I managed to finish the inside a bit. Now this would all look better <laughs> if it was a bit darker. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't think I've got the gamma up that high. Oh, okay, I have. So let's turn this gamma down. So why is that? There we go. Now it's dark. <laughs> gamma does a lot to the game. Now it's dark. It's actually too dark to be fair. Because these lights aren't even doing nothing. I'm trying to get this right. Let's move up a top. No, no, thank you. Move it up a tiny bit. Okay, that didn't really do nothing, but I reckon this looks a lot better in dark. And especially inside looks better when it's dark. Um, but yeah, nice entranceway with a lot of light. So you guys were guarding in these things. They could see the people walking through, detect if they got any weapons, and so on and so forth. Um... I forgot all these doors are open. They shouldn't even be open. Let's close that one. <laughs> Run along to this side. Yeah, this one's open as well. These should never be open because that's a quick way that people can get in. And that's not something that should happen. Yeah. Got these here. Now, my idea was I could put a few compies on each side. Um, it didn't work out. I never got around to it. But here comes the inside. Now I wish I had the ability to turn my hood off completely but I haven't seen the option for it anywhere so that's super annoying but we're gonna walk in right now. This is the hall. Dun, 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 dun. Boom. Now it's nothing spectacular. Uh, I did try and set the mood a bit with some lights and some of the artifacts glowing on the sides and we've got a couple of the uh, fermenting barrels as well for people to get ale from then you've got this long table down here where knights and other company can sit and then you have the head table which is raised above everyone else because he or she is the person in charge who says what's going to happen and what will happen. <laughs> That's how I see it. you got to have a good imagination for this. <laughs> but yeah guys, that is it. That is the end of the whole entire season of the centre. And this is the end of the castle. But I will not be deleting this... Um, center map don't worry I will not refresh it or nothing I will be keeping this um, so when new updates come out I can get them to you because the island is a good place to do it if you can find some big open areas uh, which there are a couple of them so yeah that is it guys I hope you guys have enjoyed the journey that we have been on um, and I just want to thank you all, all you guys again for your support I hope you support the new um, series on the center plus that I am going to do um, and that is it. it it feels strange to end the season on this map oh well <laughs> me being sentimental um, so thank you guys I am Mortal T and I hope you enjoyed this series and guys don't forget if you like the video and if you like the whole series or season, if you want to call it, don't forget to show that like button who is boss by punching it in the face. And if you're new and you want to see more, don't forget to click that subscribe button. So that is it guys. I am Mortal T and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>